Welcome back to Play by Play Talk. I'm your host, John McCovey, here with Christian, James, and Tyler. And today we're going to be talking about who do you think is the greatest boxer of all time? Tyler, who do you think it is? Mike Tyson, because before he got knocked out uh, by Buster Douglas, he was one of the most feared men in the boxing world at that time. Christian, do you have anything to say about that? Um, not really. I mean, I heavily agree with you, Tyler. Mike Tyson is one of the most feared boxers, you know, one of the most feared people in the world, if we're going to be honest. You know, he's over here biting ears, and he's knocking people out. So, if we're being honest, there's no other choice. Well, people could argue, you know, Muhammad Ali, even Floyd Mayweather could be arguably two of the greatest boxers of all time. But what makes Mike Tyson better than those two men? Because Mike Tyson... I feel like he had like maybe the most like knockouts. He literally knocked out uh, on the three most, uh, the three best, most brutal knockouts in boxing history. One of them is Mike Tyson versus Marcus Frazier. That's number one, and he knocked out Marcus Frazier in thirty seconds. Okay, Christian. And again, I'm going to have to agree with Tyler. Um, he strikes fear in people's hearts. You know, he's one of the most feared men in the world. You know, Muhammad Ali and Floyd Mayweather are both great, great records, great track record, respected by a lot of their peers. But Mike Tyson is Mike Tyson. You know, he's going to get the job done. He has the most knockouts ever. So, you know, he's going to get the job done for sure. Now, let's switch a little bit here. James, I know you've been a little quiet over here. So let's talk a little bit about baseball. Okay. Who do you have winning the World Series this year? This year, I have a sleeper pick, actually. I have the Padres going ahead and bringing back all their hurt players and winning the World Series. There's two main reasons why. The first reason is they just brought in five pitchers in the trade deadline, four in the bullpen, and one to start. That's also while missing Joe Musgrove and Hugh Darvish, who are the best two pitchers on the staff, and still having an above 500 record. They've beaten the Dodgers in, in every single series this year. They've beaten the Phillies in their series this year. And they've beaten the Brewers, three of the best teams in the National League. That, and then on top of that, they're missing their best player in general, which is Tatis. I think when they are able to come back and when everybody is not hurt, they're going to be even stronger than they are right now and be able to prepare themselves to the World Series. That hat is telling me uh, we know what your answer was from the beginning. But Christian, you know, who do you have winning the World Series? Um, unlike my friend James over here with the big SD on his hat, um, I'm going to be very unbiased with my take. I got to go with the Yankees. Um, the American League is a really strong league, especially this year. You know, you got a lot of great teams. You know, you got the Orioles, you got the, um, the Guardians, the Red Sox, great teams. But I think... The top of the top is going to have to be the Yankees, you know. They got Jazz Chisholm at the deadline. He's been a really good player for them. Had four home runs in three games. That's basically unheard of. They have the, M the AL MVP with Aaron Judge, which is, you know, come on. That's undisputed. You know, they have other great talent around them, great bullpen, great relievers, you know. And nobody's really going to be able to compete with them, especially in the AL. If they play the, a team like the Padres or the Dodgers, when it gets to the World Series, I think they're going to handle it no problem. I got the Yankees. Now, listen, I haven't heard either of you say the Dodgers or Phillies, who I feel like are kind of the favorites in this. So what is it about the Dodgers and Phillies that they don't have to win this year? Um, the Dodgers' main thing is injuries and being able to win in the playoffs. I've talked about it before. The last two years, they've been bounced out by their NL West uh, compatriots. They are in there doing when it when it comes to playing in the playoffs. They they choke when in the big games against the Diamondbacks and the Padres in back to back seasons. And this year they have injuries all over their lineup. So who knows if they come back and if they're going to be able to be at the same level that they were before. We've seen Clayton Kershaw came back. He had a rough few starts to begin his um, comeback from being on the IL. So. The main thing for me is I don't see the Dodgers being able to come back from the injuries and their past in the playoffs. Christian? Um, I'm going to have to agree with some of your points, James. Um, for sure, the Dodgers and the Phillies were probably, they're still probably the favorites. But in my opinion, the Dodgers lost it when they lost Mookie. You know, that's a serious injury. And in my opinion, Mookie was their backbone. You know, they got Shohei, but Mookie was still definitely their backbone. And I think 
with it, when going into the World Series, you got to have that X factor. I think Aaron Judge is just completely the best player in baseball. I mean, you know, you also have Bryce Harper on the Phillies, Alec Bohm, but I still think Aaron Judge and the Yankees can get it done. Well, that's all the time we had today. See you next time on Play by Play.